This is the final word at the Women's World T20 for Wisden.com, fueled by Kookaburra Cricket. I have Kookaburra superstar Natalie Siver with me here, the England all-rounder. Uh, three for four last night, player of the match. Such a relief to get through to the next stage. But am I right in knowing you actually didn't know that you might have been eliminated had you lost to Africa? Uh, yeah, that was news to me after the game. Um, but, I mean, luckily we, we managed to put in a performance that we wanted to against the South Africans, who are definitely a strong side and one that we've, we've played against quite a lot in the recent times. So... Anya Shrapsal took a hat-trick last night. She said after the game that you've made some changes to your bowling technique. Could you sort of add to that a little bit? What have you changed in your actions to make you so potent in this tournament? Um, yeah, I decided with um, Mark Robertson, the coach, who um, had noticed something that wasn't quite right in my actions. So I've made sure that everything is more going towards the target and nothing going behind me, which is what I was doing before with my bowling arm. Right, and in terms of the, the support you've received as the new opening bowler, I mean, it's, a, it's not something you were expecting necessarily coming over here when Catherine Brunt went home. There, there was a suggestion you and Heather might split your overs, but now you, alongside Anya, you're, you're the attack leaders. Um, yeah, it's nice for me and Annie to bowl with, with a swinging ball as well, um, which has definitely helped in terms of the, of the power play. Um, yeah, and it, it's, it's brilliant to kind of take over a little bit from, from Catherine, but I'm sure she'll be back soon. That support you received last night from your fans when Anya Shrubsall takes the hat-trick to polish off the South Africans who performed so poorly. They were dancing in the aisles, they were singing in the aisles. What did you make of all that? <laughs> um, they've got some good moves. I think they, they're hopefully going to be working on them before tomorrow's game. Um, but yeah, that, that atmosphere walking off at half time last night was pretty close to Lord's. So um, yeah, we were all very chuffed with it. And your mum's constantly on the big screen dancing. <laughs> Um, yeah, I mean, I'd, I'd like to think I've got my moves from her, but I'm not sure if that's the case. <laughs> uh, you have qualified for the semi-final after that win. You're playing India or, or Australia. Do you feel a degree of confidence against both sides, given how familiar you now are with each other through the KSL and the WBBL? Yeah, and we had a, a series against them both in, in T20 at, in India, um, just at the beginning of the year. So we've played we've played each other quite a lot um, and kind of know what we're going to come up against so hopefully we can put on a put on a good show and in terms of your batting at the moment didn't get in the runs last night but we're quite good against Bangladesh to start the tournament how are you hitting them um yeah i'm feeling pretty good um over the summer i've um, been increasing in confidence over the over the KSL so hopefully i do get a chance to bat um, for a while on tomorrow uh, thank you, Natalie Siver, for joining the final word for Wisdom.com, fueled by Kookaburra Cricket. One of Kookaburra's own, of course. Good luck tomorrow. Thanks, Adam. Yeah, my, my first club experience was at North Bourne Cricket Club back down in Melbourne. I, I'm a Melbourne girl, so I grew up down there. And um, my neighbour actually was involved in the club and, and saw me playing in the street and invited me down. And so I went down there and played, I think it was in the under 12 boys team and also in the under 17s girls team. And yeah, I just had such a great time. It, it was, um, it was a, a really nice moment in my career in terms of, you know, I was the only girl in the team. So the boys really looked after me, which was nice. And yeah, it really started my journey and then it was, I guess, onwards and upwards from there.